Aya. Ba 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 I'm hoping everybody can hear me tonight. Hallelujah. Last week we wasn't everybody able to hear me. I want to make sure everybody can hear me tonight. I want you to start getting on because the Lord wants me to uh, not only do prophetic prayer, but we're going to do some prophecy. Also prophesying over people tonight. If, if I to make sure people are getting on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory tonight, Lord. We thank you on this good Friday, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, on this good Friday. We're waiting for this great time of resurrection. This is the time when... when uh, our Savior died for our sins, and we're waiting for the time of His resurrection. And the Lord gave me a prophetic word, even for the body of Christ, that many feel like they're defeated. They feel like that they've been hanging up on a cross, almost like our Savior, that, that, that they're going through the same kind of sufferings and suffering uh, that Jesus went through. I almost feel like you're hanging up on there, the cross with Jesus, and sometimes us as disciples feel like we're going through the same kind of sufferings as our Savior is, and even as Jesus died and he, he is in the, in the tomb right now, even his disciples, can you imagine them looking at, at Jesus in, on Calvary's hill, and they seen him up there with two thieves nailed up on the cross, and the Lord gave me a prophetic word, a lot of you feel like you're defeated, and you're, and you're like, you, you're like Jesus felt I'm sure, and like the disciples felt when he was up on that cross in between two thieves. Can you imagine how they thought the kingdom of God was coming now and the kingdom was going to be here now? And all of a sudden, this, the Messiah, the long-awaited uh, king, had come. And now he's all of a sudden up on a cross in between two thieves. It looked like a defeated situation. But how do you money know that... That he resurrected, not only did he die for our sins, but he resurrected that we might have life and life more abundantly. So the Lord's saying even today, even through suffering, we come closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he gave me, the Lord uh, also gave me a scripture to go out of real quick, but mostly I'm going to be doing prophetic prayer and prophesying tonight. Uh, but uh, let's look at Romans chapter 5 real quick and we'll look there and we'll just uh, go right on into prophetic prayer and prophecy as the Holy Ghost moves. Lord, I, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your spirit will fall fresh upon me tonight. God, that your Holy Ghost will invade me tonight. Let not my words be my own, Lord, but let them be your words in the name of Jesus tonight. God, empower me with the charisma gifts of the Holy Ghost according to 1 Corinthians 12. Hallelujah, the revelatory gifts, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge and prophecy, God, the power gifts. Uh, anoint me with the power gifts, Lord, the working of miracles, the gifts of healing, and the gift of faith, and the utterance gifts, and tongues, interpretation of tongues, hallelujah, and the discerning of spirits, Lord, I pray for the nine gifts of the spirit, now I pray for the doma, the, the office, and the administration of the prophet, according to Ephesians 4, 11, and 4, 12, the doma, gift of the administration of the government of the prophet, God, in Jesus' name, according to uh, Ephesians 4, 11, and 12, and now, God, I also pray for the function according to Romans 12 of ministry, the function of prophesying according to Romans 12, 6 through 8 in Jesus name God and I thank you Holy Ghost that I let you take through my over my body right now and use me as your vessel tonight God in Jesus name hallelujah let the, let the people come on this line tonight God that need to hear a word from you Holy Ghost that need to, that have been in their caves as Jesus almost was shut up in his tomb. I I hear there's people that feel like you've been shut up in a cave. Uh, even prophets that are in a cave that, that like Jesus was shut up in the tomb on that good Friday. Uh, I heard the Lord say that you're getting get it ready to resurrect just like Jesus did. That those who have been feeling like they've been discouraged are going to get ready at with your Savior to resurrect on, on resurrection day. Was resurrection. How many know it's not Easter? There's no Easter bunny, but there is a resurrection day. There's no Easter bunny, but there is a resurrection day of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let's look at Romans chapter 5 real quick. 
I'm going to look at Romans chapter 5 um, and just give you a quick word out of there really quick and then we'll go right into uh, prayer and prophecy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless your name, Lord, tonight. Give you praise, give you honor, give you glory. Hallelujah. God bless everybody tonight. I see you on. Uh, last week, I couldn't see the names. I was just a prophesying away, and I couldn't see any. Because I can see the names, but I couldn't see anybody putting any anything down. But anyway, I just kept going with the Holy Ghost. The thing about the Holy Ghost, once the Holy Ghost gets moving, you don't want to stop him. Because he's got something to say tonight. Hallelujah. So let's look at Romans chapter 5. Listen, this is the whole reason Jesus died for our sins, that he might be raised to life and resurrected, that we might also have life and life more abundantly. John 10.10 10 says that we might be raised with him in life. Not only do we go die with him in baptism to death, but we raise with him in life. So let's not get too depressed because let's look at Romans 5 verse 5. There, or verse 1, therefore being justified by faith, we have grace with God through our Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access, listen to this, we also have access by faith into this grace, charis is the word grace, which we uh, stand, we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, and let's look at uh, Romans 5 and 3, and not only so, but we glory, listen to this, somebody needs to hear this, we glory in tribulations, because knowing that tribulation worketh what? Patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. Verse 5, Romans 5 and 5, which is a number of grace, 5, 5, I've seen triple fives all day today, which is triple grace, 5, 5, Romans 5, 5, and hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given us. So the hope maketh not a shame, for the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, which is given us for for which we were yet without strength. In due time, Christ died for the ungodly, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die, but peradventure for a good man some would yet dare to die. But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being justified by his blood, we should, hallelujah, be saved from wrath through him. Hallelujah. Listen, this is why Christ has died. But if we, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Listen to this. Much more being reconciled back to God, we shall be saved by the life of Christ. Verse 11, Romans 5 and 11. And not only so, but we, we, uh, also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now what received the atonement so we've received the atonement through Christ through the blood of Christ through what he's done on the cross at Calvary for what he's doing on this good Friday and we're remembering as he went to death for us our sins go with him and then we are resurrected to life and uh, with Christ so we're going to be raised to life with Christ even though Romans 5 now says Says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations, because right now, if you're going through some tribulation, know that tribulation worketh patient. It was Paul that said in Acts chapter 17 that in order to enter the God into the kingdom of God, which is you're born again, that's salvation, but the kingdom of God is the next realm. That's as you ask, you seek, you knock, you go through the door. Uh, and you go into the kingdom of God, don't stop at the door. You got to go all the way into the kingdom. That's where the mysteries are. The mysteries, the secrets to the servants, the prophets, the Proverbs are all in, in the kingdom of God. So salvation is only the first step, but we want to go all the way into the kingdom. And it said, Paul, the apostle Paul said in, in Acts chapter 17 that we must enter the kingdom through much, much tribulation. So know that this tribulation, even now that you're going through, says the Lord, Romans 5 and 3, but know that that tribulation worketh patience. And what is patience work? Uh, uh, tribulation worketh patience, verse 4, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope Hope maketh not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, which has been given to us. So the Holy Ghost, this hope, 
in, in Romans 8, it talks about Romans 8 and 24, it says, uh, a hope that is seen is not hope at all, because what does a man yet hope for what he sees? And then if you look in 2 Corinthians 5, it talks about that that the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are not seen are eternal. And this is what Hebrews, uh, the Hebrew writer in, in, in faith is talking about. We walk by faith, not by sight. Hebrews 1 and 11 says, uh, the faith is a substance of the things we hope for, but the evidence of things not seen. So it's something hope maketh not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. But Romans 8.24 says, Hope that is seen is not hope. For why does a man yet hope for that which he sees? So it's the things that are in the eternal realm. We're looking forward to the things that are in glory, the things that are not seen. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. So we don't see it yet, but we hope for it because the Holy Ghost has given us vision into the future. Prophecy has shown us the things that are to come, and this is why we stand. The word pistis means faith. We stand in expectation of knowing. We know it's the evidence. Faith is the evidence. The, the substance of things we hope for, but the evidence, meaning we see it already now, though it's not met manifested, we see it already now. So we have the evidence already. And it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For those who come to God must believe that God is and is the reward of those who diligently seek Him. So we walk by faith and not by sight. we got to believe that all the promises of God are yes and amen. Yes and amen to the glory of God. So you may not see it yet, says the Lord. You may be going through some tribulation, some trial in your life. You say, God, I've prayed for everything. I've asked you. I've waited. I've waited. I've been asking you, but these things haven't manifest. But I hear the Holy Ghost saying tonight, daughter, son, be patient. Because those things, Romans 8, 24. Uh, for that you've hoped for if you with patience you wait for it you will receive the receive the manifestation of that because you walk by faith and not by sight so if you believe me it was accounted to abraham for righteousness meaning credited it's like a, a, a account if you receive credit into your bank account or on your card you you've been given it in for in in, in advance so because you have faith it's accredited to you, just like Abraham, unto righteousness, meaning you've already got it because it's been accredited to your account. But if you don't have faith, which is a grain of mustard seed, Jesus said, uh, Matthew 17, 20, if you have the faith, a grain of mustard seed, you can command this mountain to move from one place and it'll move and you can command it to go into the sea and it'll move. That's literal. You can command demons to move out of the way. You can command financial debt to move out of the way. You can command that mountain that's in front of you right now by faith to move out of the way in Jesus' name, to be uprooted. Jesus says, he cursed the, the, the fig tree and the disciples were like, why is he cursing this fig tree? You know what I mean? And they came back the next day and saw that it was dried up. The only reason Jesus did that to was to show them the power of your words and the power of faith. The power, he said, with it shall with man it shall be it may be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. If you command this uh, sycamore tree or this uh, tree to be uprooted and cast into the sea and you don't doubt in your heart whatever so you pray for it shall be done so the Lord is saying tonight he wants the body to start having some radical faith I want you to believe for the things that I've already promised you to cross over into your promised land I want you to believe for that next level house that I've been uh, that you've uh, uh, that's been promised to you that next level car that next level business because God already said last week according to Matthew 6 and 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and he said he what he would add all other things to us so that hear the Lord say tonight, there's many things that people had been pressing in for in the spirit, but I hear the Lord saying tonight that those same things in the natural that people really need to get their ministries going, and I hear the Lord saying he wants to pour, shed abroad those things, not only in the spiritual, but in the natural. He wants to give financial uh, provision. He wants to give vehicles and houses and those things to people so that they can move forward. He wants to bless your business and give you a way uh, to make 
more finances in the in for the kingdom. So if you, as long as you you cannot serve two masters, for it is the love of money. It's not money. We need money. It's the love of money that is the root of all evil. So Jesus says you you have to be for the right reasons, but we need money for ministry. So I hear the Lord saying tonight. Uh, family to believe God for him to manifest in the natural the things that we've been needing in the natural to move our ministries forward so I hear that tonight in the Holy Ghost uh, to start believing by faith that I'm able to give those things that I've already promised to you says the Spirit of the Lord I've already promised you that I was going to give you that business that that you were going to be a kingdom millionaire that you would be a kingdom builder that you would be able uh, to, to supply other ministries with money that you would be be able to give to missionaries to go across the world to do evangelism i've already promised you that you were going to be one of those says the spirit of the lord now believe me for the manifestation of those things phanios is the greek word meaning a manifestation to be known to appear to happen so to believe that those things that we that we have been hoping for are going to appear to to manifest in the natural uh, from the spirit world. So we want to continue to believe those things that we prayed for that God's going to answer our prayers by faith. So we walk by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We pray, Father, tonight that you uh, open up the realm of, of prophecy tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name, the realm of the gift of the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom tonight. Uh, as you anoint me as your vessel tonight, Lord, I thank you tonight. I see people on the line, uh, uh, Amanda Smith, Drusilla Cross, uh, Veronica Jones, hallelujah, uh, uh, Brother David, Prophet David Sanchez, God bless you, Drusilla, uh, Anita, God bless you, bless you, Patsy, uh, Linda, hallelujah, Angela, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amy, God bless you. Vanessa, hallelujah. Regina Bolton, God bless you, woman of God. I hear the Lord saying to you tonight, woman of God, Regina, the Lord uh, has seen even the, the trials that you've gone through. And I, I see some kind of a, it's like a, a business or, or some idea that the Lord has given you. And you've been trying to implement it and put it together. And you've just even in the last two or three months, have had problems. But I hear the Lord saying, tonight, daughter, believe me, because I am sending someone to you that is literally going to help you open up this business. I hear that help is coming to you and even financial provision uh, for those prophecies that the Lord has already given you, Regina. Uh, he's given you certain prophecies, and I'm not sure if it's opening up certain businesses or a church or something in in. In, in that area, but it's also, or maybe both, and I, I hear the Lord saying he was wanting to bring those provisions even to you, uh, and even add people to your, uh, whether it's a ministry or a business, I'm not sure, thank you Holy Spirit, but he's adding people to you, and releasing finances, and also sending people to you, says the Spirit of the Lord, Regina, hallelujah, thank you Holy Ghost. We bless you today. Uh, uh, Drusilla, God bless you, woman of God. I hear the Lord saying unto you, uh, you've even been praying for some, some. Uh, I think it's family members, or even I see, I see like a, a teenage boy, a son. I don't know if it's a son or a, a nephew or something, but he has kind of, got into some somebody that you're praying for a, a young teenage uh, boy has gotten into some kind of trouble I don't know if it's gangs or something but your but I hear the Lord saying your prayers have touched the throne of heaven I hear the Lord saying and he's sending angels even now to rescue uh, this this teenager I don't know if it's your nephew or a uh, a son or somebody I just see a, 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 a about a 16 year old uh, male that is involved in some kind of trouble and that you've been praying for him uh, and and it could be just somebody that you're praying for but I hear the Lord saying tonight that he's sending angels to rescue an evangelist to literally rescue and this this uh, teenage uh, boy will be coming to the Lord and even uh, 
within this next month as a result of your prayers and to continue to press in because you're a great prayer warrior, says the Lord. You're one uh, of a prophetic intercessor and God's going to uh, open such things to you even in this next month, I hear, Drusilla, for you to open up some kind of business. I see a, uh, I see in the realm of a spirit like a store and all kinds of like trinkets in this in this store and I see a cash register and I see a uh, 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 like a shelf behind the cash register and I see different customers it's like a hole in the wall store or something but I see customers coming into this door way of, of the shop that the Lord's going to be given to you and I even see like I said different I don't know if it's a Christian gift store or something maybe a Christian bookstore or something like that Drusilla but hallelujah but the Lord is saying believe me for this uh, uh, opening of this shop it's like a gift shop or a Christian bookstore or something but I don't even know if you've known about this or this has been in your visions but I see it in the spirit realm right now for Drusilla so believe God he's going to provide finances for you to open this shop this business and like I said it looks like a gift shop or a, a a bookstore or something, but I see a cash register, and I see uh, it's like the storefront, and I even see cars parked uh, out and people walking into it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you praise. Prophet David uh, 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 Sanchez, God bless you, man of God. Uh, I hear the Lord saying to you tonight, man of God, that uh, there's something that God wants to release onto you even tonight, and this is something you've prayed, uh, and even in your secret time in your prayer closet with the Lord. And there's something that you've been praying for, and and it's a certain uh, uh, gifting, a uh, mantle, even, and even maybe a metron or a sphere of authority that you wanted to operate in, and an anointing, and even He's going to increase. Uh, your your influence is what I hear, like your metron, your metron, which is your sphere of authority, into different regions and even all the way into uh, uh, national, uh, where you're going to be seen nationally. And even I hear the Lord saying, David, that you he even wants to move you internationally eventually that you, he wants you to move internationally and that he is preparing your vessel now to be able to handle that weight of glory that you would have or that that weight of of you know warfare because every region has its own demons every region has its own principalities power spiritual wickedness in high places uh that you have to overcome but even as he sent the the, the first disciples he said uh acts one and Eight, tarry ye in Jerusalem until the uh, uh, Holy Ghost is endued with power from the on high. And he said, then you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, and uh, uh, Samaria, and all the other ends of the earth. What he was saying was Jerusalem was local. Uh, uh, then, uh, which is like citywide, Jerusalem, you know, Judea is statewide, Samaria is, is, is throughout the country, and up to the uttermost ends of the earth is international, so he, those are different levels at Acts 1 and 8, so I hear David, that, uh, uh, uh Brother David, that God wants to uh, can tr increase your metron of authority, your mantles, your prophetic, and your apostolic. You're even called as an apostle, says the Lord. I heard that you're an apostle, uh, a sent one, says the Spirit of the Lord, and he wants to send you into different countries even, even into spheres of places like the Apostle Paul said, I don't preach in other people's, you know, where they have already preached. I go in areas where uh, nobody else has preached. And I just hear the Lord saying for you, David, that he wants to send you to different countries and even villages, maybe even in, in places of Africa and, and, and maybe Central America. I don't know. I just heard Central America for some reason. Uh, the jungles even maybe uh, to where you're out uh, literally evangelizing and ministering and working in miracle signs and wonders. And I hear that's the mantle 
that the Lord wants to put on to you that you've been praying for was that mantle of miracle signs and wonders and the Lord wants to put that mantle of miracles and even the gifts of healing where people will be instantly healed in these places and even raised from the dead I hear the Lord saying to you uh, David so God bless you brother David uh uh, the Lord loves you greatly. You're you're a man uh, just like King David after God's own heart. And God uh, uh, loves you, son. He says, I hear him saying, I love you, son, and I appreciate your sacrifice all these years, years for me. Now I'm about ready to sacrifice for you, says the Spirit of the Lord. And I hear Jesus saying, even as... Even as I am about ready to uh, uh, resurrect, so are you, says the Lord. And you will resurrect with me uh, 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 start coming this weekend, this Sunday. You, you'll you be resurrected with me and you'll be no more defeat in your life, says the Spirit of the Lord. And I'm going to restore to you all the years that the that the devil stole from you, according to Proverbs 6, 30, 31, and also Joel 2, 25. So God's getting ready, David, to restore the years of the canker worm, the locust, caterpillar, all that. Even for the last, I hear, like the last 12 to 15 years that uh, things have been stolen from you, uh, that the Lord is going to bring those in a, 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 a sevenfold restoration, which is a hundredfold. So for you, Prophet David, God bless you, man of God, Apostle David, David is what I hear, even an apostle of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amanda Smith, God bless you, woman of God. Amanda Smith. The Lord was saying to you, daughter, uh, you, you, you. Uh, I see you having many multiple businesses, Christian businesses, and even an entrepreneur. I see uh, like great wealth coming to you. I just see in the realm of the spirit, uh, dollar bills. And I never prophesy. People know me on here. I don't prophesy money, but I see great wealth coming to you, woman of God, Amanda Smith, because you've been proven in the area of finances. And the Lord wants to bring great wealth for you to open uh, a kingdom businesses and also finance kingdom millionaires and business people uh, and he's even been testing you with the area of finances you've even wondered Amanda why why is it that uh, it seems like every time I get money it's like this great big test just like I just read in Romans 5 uh, tribulation worketh patience so even though Amanda that, that that tribulation that you're going through is because the Lord's getting ready to bless you so abundantly that he had to first test you with the with the different things that he's wanting to bring to you so I hear him say to you daughter uh, just stay faithful stay faithful to the little things I'm about ready to re reward you openly says the spirit of the lord i'm about ready to bless you beyond uh what you even could imagine i hear in ephesians 3 19 and 20 like uh, uh, uh exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask think or imagine uh be what you could never dream god is getting ready to bless you and i see a dream home i hear the word dream home a uh, home i see a home that looks like a mansion on a hill to me uh, in the spirit realm it looks like it's got three levels to it uh, Amanda there's like a three level house and I see the keys for it uh, and I even see you making a deal with a real estate agent who's dressed in a, in a suit and I see even uh, 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 I see it, the the suit and and the tie of like a blue tie on this real estate agent and you making a deal for this three level mansion in Jesus name that's for Amanda God bless you sister hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Vanessa. God bless you, Vanessa Bow. I think it is B A U G H. Are you on here, woman of God? I hear the Lord say that to you, daughter. Uh, I'm increasing even a metron of of giftings onto you even at, in the prophetic i've heard you you're very prophetic but you've also wanted to 
uh, uh, move in a greater realm of the prophetic. So I hear the Lord say tonight, daughter, I'm pouring that realm of the prophetic onto you. Begin to prophesy in such deep levels, that even in um, areas of uh, forensic and genealogy prophecy. And you'll be like a prophetess that, that people are seeking out. Uh, I, I hear that you're going to, uh, Vanessa, be like this prophetess that, that really you're going to begin to prophesy so deep that people are going to seek you out to hear a specific word from the Lord. And it's like I hear the spirit of counsel is coming on to you. The spirit of counsel, if you look at the sevenfold spirit of God, Isaiah chapter 11 and Revelation 5, 12, Vanessa, there's a spirit of, uh, uh, of knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, the fear of the Lord, counsel, might. I hear the spirit of counsel. You're going going to be the spirit of counsel and the spirit of might which is coming on you through the sevenfold spirit of God which is going to allow you to move in realms of counseling people and also might which is a spirit that falls on you will allow you to move in miracle signs and wonders and even the gifts of healing where people will get healed through your ministry even by you uh, touching even you touching people, uh, when you pray for people, there will be instant manifestations, I hear, of healing and miracles. Uh, continue to, to press in, daughter, says the Spirit of the Lord, and use your gifts, stir up the gift, which means fan into flame the gifts that I've given you, and I'm going to use you in great uh, mighty acts uh, in these last days to Vanessa. Thus says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Shady little book of tire. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Angela, Angela, Vincent, hallelujah. God bless you, woman of God. I hear the Lord saying unto you, daughter, uh, don't worry about the, 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 the children. Or that's something about there's, there's fa either family member or children. I just hear children that you're, you've been praying for. And even uh, I hear the Lord saying that there's gonna that He's opening up different things for ways for you to get help with your children. I don't know if it's your children or it, I just hear children ways to get help for your children. I'm not sure what that means, but I hear that the Lord uh, you've had something on your heart to do with children and needing even help with something and I hear the Lord saying don't worry about it daughter I've, I I will supply all your needs according to my riches and glory I've already got the provision made uh, I've already got the doors opened and I've already got the people set in place says the spirit of the Lord hallelujah shalom Georgia God bless you sister uh, J. Daniel Salone, God bless you, man of God. I hear the Lord saying to you that, man of God, you, you, you're moving in such uh, realms in the prophetic and even the apostolic that he, he wants to use you to open great apostolic uh, ministries all across the country, even hubs and train disciples is what I hear the Lord saying for you, uh, 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 J. Daniel, I've heard the Lord saying he wants you to tr begin to train disciples and, and to train people even in the apostolic and the prophetic. Whether you do that now or not, I'm not sure. And how deep of the realm of prophecy you move in and the apostolic, I'm not sure. But I hear the Lord saying that this is something that is futuristic, that is for uh Forth, not just foretelling, but foretelling, futuristic, that I see apostolic hubs in different big city areas, and uh, even like areas in the west of California, but also in the east, in areas like big cities, like New York, New York, uh, places like that, even up north in Chicago, Illinois, uh, all the way down to Texas and down through Florida, different apostolic training hubs for this last day's move of the spirit uh i hear the lord saying to you uh apostle because really that's what you're going to be as an apostle and and so to you my brother god bless you hallelujah we give you praise tonight jesus we thank you holy spirit Sunday, the Bobo Sunday, Bobo 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Remove this, turn this on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray tonight in Jesus' name, Lord, that you'll just begin to, to move in our hearts, even as we go th uh, we're on this um, this Good Friday and we're waiting for the, the remembrance of your resurrection on Sunday, Lord. We just pray that you'll take our hearts uh, to the altar, Lord, and that we'll begin to put our hearts on the prayer altar that we begin to lay those burdens. I just hear that the people are having burdens tonight, and the Lord wants you to bring those burdens to them. See yourself coming, says the Spirit of the Lord, and putting those burdens on the altar and giving them over to the Lord Jesus. He wants to bear those burdens for you, says the Spirit of the Lord. Those burdens, those things that you've been carrying, He wants to bear them. He said, this is why I went to the died for you this is my child this is why i died i went to the cross and even as i have the, the things that are dead in your life even as i'm in my in the in the grave so will those things resurrect even with me says the spirit of the lord those things that will bring life zoe is the word zoe is the abundant life um, that the the spirit and life that I hear those things that were dead those dreams that were dead are going to resurrect even with the Lord as as we remember him resurrecting on Sunday those dreams that are dead I hear the Lord saying those 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 uh, old prophecies that you that you used to uh, those things that you haven't prayed about for a long time I hear the Lord saying according to first uh, Timothy 1 18 and 19 to begin to war a good war wage a good war warfare over those uh, prophecies that you once were warring over even take out your old I hear the Lord saying get out your old journals and their books that you had uh, old prophecies and different things and and begin to wage and believe me again for those old prophecies believe me again for those dreams that you used to have to go back and even and looking in your dream logs I hear the Lord saying your prayer journals and your dream logs and I'm going to resurrect some of those things that have uh, fallen that you've and it's, it's almost like you had all these uh, uh, dreams and these prophecies that you uh, were believing God for at the beginning of the year but it's like you lost hope and even as the word was today out of Romans 5 uh, uh, hope to hope you know we need faith but we also need hope because we're hoping in the things that we don't see but we're hoping that the manifestation of those things are going to come so I hear the Lord saying he's wanting to resurrect even as this resurrection day is coming he wants to resurrect those prophecies resurrect those dreams that you had Ble believe me again says God believe me again for those things that you used to believe me for says the Lord because I want to bring life to him I want to breathe my spirit says the Lord into those things that you used to believe me for even some people are on here used to you were believing for a, 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 a kingdom marriage you were believing for a spouse I hear the Lord saying start believing me again because those things that you have prayed to me for are still in motion I haven't I, I have not um, uh, forsaken you says the Lord I'm, I still hear those prayers those, those desires of your heart according to Psalm 37 4 for I, I says the Lord will give you to still give you the desires of heart I have a way of making things work says the Spirit of the Lord that even when you think that the time is gone by I have a way of redeeming the time says the Lord I have a way of redeeming time and bringing those things that you thought were gone uh, to fruition says the Spirit of the Lord so believe God again for a resurrection of dreams of financial uh, for businesses that you, that, that you saw or ministries you saw that you were going to open because God's getting ready to Jesus is getting ready to resurrect those things even as we remember resurrection day is 
coming. Uh, Jesus says, I'm going to resurrect those things, says the Spirit of the Lord. So go back into your dream logs, into your prayer logs, into your journals, into the things that I gave you, your prophecies, says the Lord, and war, start to war over those prophecies according to 1 Timothy 1, 18 and 19 again. And believe me, for the supernatural, believe me, for great miracles, signs, and wonders, because I'm ready to breathe, says the Holy Spirit, on those things that you thought were dead, says the Lord. I'm ready to breathe on the things that you thought were dead. The Ruach HaKadosh, the, the true spirit of holiness, is coming forth, says the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is going to come and breathe. The wind of the Spirit is going to breathe on those things, and there's going to be an atomic awakening and an acceleration, an accuation of the Spirit, which is a, a quick quickening and a spinning, which is all of a sudden you're going to be able to get quick ideas and you're going to be able to uh, finish projects a lot easier and quicker, says the Spirit of the Lord. You'll be able to do things supernaturally, even as my prophet Elijah, when, when he girded up his loins and ran to the entrance in front of Ahab to Jezreel supernaturally, you'll be able to run with the uh, uh, run with the horses and fly with the eagles, says the Spirit of the Lord. You'll be able to run with the horses and fly with the eagles in this season. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You'll run and not be weary, says the Lord, and you'll be able to walk and not faint in this season. So labor, says the Spirit of the Lord, to enter into my rest, even as my word says in Hebrews chapter 4, that that, that be not one that has unbelief, but believe me, says the Spirit of the Lord. Believe me for great uh, manifestations, even as I am beginning to come out from the grave and resurrecting. I'm going to resurrect, says the Spirit of the Lord, your dreams and your visions, says the Lord. Get ready for great new dreams and visions to come. Get your get your prayer journals out and your dream logs and begin to write down, says the Spirit of the Lord, those dreams and visions and prophecies that I'm giving you again and begin to uh, decree and declare and prophesy them forward, says the Spirit of the Lord. Begin to believe me. Apply your faith. Activate your faith, says the Spirit of the living God, and I will bring those things to pass. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight, God. We give you praise and glory. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Sharon D. Scott. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord was saying to you, daughter, even as you've gone, uh, uh, in through great trials and tribulations in this last season, so will your are your dreams, as my prophet is speaking, are going to be resurrected. I I have such great uh, dreams that I have for you, says the Spirit of the Lord. You stopped dreaming a long time ago, but I still have those dreams for you, Sharon. Says the Spirit, I still have those. Uh, dreams for you, even the things that, that you have asked me in secret, in your closet. I've heard you, says the Lord. I've heard you, daughter, and I will reward thee openly even within the next month, says the Spirit of the Lord. Believe me again, daughter. Believe me. Write those things down that I'm speaking to you uh, and begin to pray over those visions again and even the dreams that I've, I speak to you at night in, says the Spirit of the Lord. And believe me, me for those things because I want to bring those things to pass even within this next month and I can redeem the time don't worry about the time I don't live in the earthly time says the Spirit of the Lord I live in eternity I live in supernatural timing there is no time in the spirit Sharon, there is no time in the spirit. So God said he's getting ready to redeem all those things that you thought you lost he's going to redeem those things for you daughter Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. We thank you for your children today, God. We worship you we, in spirit and truth tonight, Lord. We give you praise tonight, God. We thank you for the promises of all. I just hear the Lord say that my promises are yes and amen. Believe me for my promises tonight. All those things that you used to believe me for, believe me for again, because I want to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask, imagine, or think. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord, call unto me and I'll answer you, says the Lord, and show you great and mighty things that you have not even ever seen nor imagined, says the Spirit of the Lord. Just believe me, call unto me, as my prophet Jeremiah and Jeremiah 33 and 3 did, I said, told him to call upon me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things you have not known. So I hear the Lord saying to his children tonight to call upon him again. Put your put your prayers on the altar of 
of the Lord and put your burdens, give your burdens to me because I want to take them, says the Spirit of the Lord. You can't carry them. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. You can't carry those burdens anymore. So lay them down on my altar. I hear the Lord saying tonight to lay those things, uh, those things that you've been carrying. The Lord wants you to take upon. He said, take upon my yoke. Uh, learn of me because I am meek and lowly of spirit and you shall find rest. Hallelujah. I just hear the word rest for your souls. Put the yoke of uh, Jesus' yoke, his, his burden, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So I hear the, the, the Lord saying he just wants us as a body of Christ to lay those things at the altar on this uh, um, Friday, on this good Friday, and believe him for on Sunday when when the remembrance of his resurrection that those those things are going to resurrect with him those things that you thought you lost he's going to bring life to him he's going to breathe life into him but in this next two days I hear the Lord saying to put those things on the altar and believe me for great uh, uh, results, even in, uh, as the Spirit spoke earlier, even in the natural realm where He wants to add those things that we need, the finances in the natural realm, the house, uh, the car, the wife or the husband, the, the, the kingdom partner to help us. We, you know, I hear the Lord saying that He's gonna, He's releasing helpers, you know, because the Bible says two are better than one, for they have a better reward in Ecclesiastes. Uh, chapter 3 I believe it is they have a better reward for their labor so God's wanting to connect uh, kingdom marriages uh, kingdom um, couples together um, because we are in the last days we've entered this last days move we're not waiting for it we're there so this time now says the Holy Ghost to move in 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 the spirit begin to move in in the in miracle signs and wonders move in the gifts of the spirit and move in all the things that I've given you that you've written down on paper all the dreams and the visions after I resurrect him and I blow on him, says the Lord, things will begin to get a lot easier, says the Spirit of the Lord. So believe me again, says the Spirit of the Lord. Believe me again for the resurrection of your dreams and your prophecies, I hear the Lord saying. And war, wage a good warfare, pray in the Spirit over those prophecies, according to 1 Timothy uh, 1, 18 and 19, and begin to, to lay those things on the altar of prayer. And let the Lord take on some of the burdens that you've been carrying yourself because you cannot handle them by yourself. Thus says the Spirit of the living God. God bless everybody. I love you tonight. Amen.